Well, new tonight, PG&E will not be charged with manslaughter for the death of these four people in the Zong fire. Felony manslaughter and reckless arson charges against the company were dropped as part of a settlement made in Shasta County Court this morning. ABC 10's Brandon Riddiman was there and has the story tonight. A judge here in Shasta County changed his mind earlier this year, announcing his intent to throw out the manslaughter case against PG&E. That got settlement talks going between the DA and the company, and today they announced they have a civil deal. In your bones, is this justice? It's justice of what we could get, given the circumstances that we're faced with. Under the deal, District Attorney Stephanie Bridget says PG&E will pay $50 million. The money will go to fire safety and charity, including a new school playground in memory of eight-year-old Fela McLeod. She died alongside her mother, Elena, in the Zog fire. But the deal does not require PG&E to admit wrongdoing, much less admit any crimes. Is it your belief if you'd gotten this in front of a jury, you'd have gotten the guilty verdict? I do. Yes. And that's sad that that was taken away from us and taken away from the family members. She pointed to Shasta County Judge Daniel Flynn as the reason. He announced in a surprise ruling last month he intended to toss out the felony charges of manslaughter and reckless arson against PG&E. Today, Flynn followed through, dismissing the case so the civil settlement could proceed. He just dismissed it. He just changed his mind. It's kind of suspicious. Kyle Drake is one of several Zog Fire survivors who protested outside the courthouse. He sees a worrying trend. Last year, six local prosecutors made similar deals with PG&E to drop criminal cases for the Kincaid and Dixie fires. He sees this Zog settlement as proof that PG&E has a formula to avoid criminal responsibility. Sure seems like it. It's, it's, it's just almost like rubber stamping now. PG&E admits its power line started the Zog fire, struck by a badly damaged tree. Failing to remove that tree was a mistake, its lawyers argued, but not a crime. CEO Patty Poppy didn't show up to court, but said the deal reflects our continuing commitment to making it right and making it safe. That's kind of admitting to wrongdoing in itself, um, knowing that, that something needs to change because something bad happened. Zach McLeod, whose wife and child died together in the Zog fire, spoke with us earlier this year. The family was too overwhelmed to speak today. Three months before the Zog fire, PG&E pleaded guilty to 84 felony counts of manslaughter for starting the campfire. Survivors want it to stop. No one should even have to imagine going through that. I never did. In Shasta County, Brandon Ridman, ABC 10 News.